you ever wondered who you really are in a world where nothing is as it seems love is in the air i am in love with gwendolyn i've come up to town expressly to propose to her i believe divorces are made in heaven when the charming a rose what's this for because you're like a rose cecily you're the prettiest girl i've ever seen the pretentious i've lost both my parents to lose one parent mr worthing is misfortune to lose both is carelessness and the ridiculous come together how can you sit there calmly eating muffins when we're in this horrible trouble but well, i can't eat muffins in an agitated manner the butter would get all over my cuffs you're in for quite a wild ride Miss Fairfax, ever since I met you, I've admired you more than any girl. My ideal has always been to love someone of the name Ernest. My dear Cecily, you seem to me to be in every way possible, but the visible personification of absolute perfection. It has always been a girlish dream of mine to love someone whose name Ernest. Ernest, he's dead. Dead? Quite dead. Something tells me we're going to be great friends. And my first impressions of people are never wrong. From the moment I saw you, I distrusted you. My first impressions of people are invariably right. I know nothing, Lady Bracknell. Long hidden secrets are revealed. Prism, where is that baby? When everything you've known turns out to be a lie. Mother, Mr. Worthing. and utter chaos prevails Mr Worthing we are both engaged to be married to your brother Ernest there is nothing more important than to be earnest